Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Falcons Corner. Voice of the Falcons, Mike Rickert, my co-host, good guy to know, Danny Berg. Another edition of the show. It is absolutely beautiful outside. I'm officially declaring it shorts weather. I am locked in. I'm ready to go. I Pants are done for the year. Didn't get the memo, but I agree with you. I had to run out to my car before, and I walked outside, and I was pleasantly surprised at how warm I was. Very excited about the forecast, especially since the last couple of weeks we've been filming in <sighs> snow. Miserable. Yeah. And then it's, today's the coolest of the next three days, yep. so this is even better. Yep, and it's a great way to kick off our, our spring sports season. And I know we're going to be talking to one of our baseball guys who you know has been off to a hot start. Yeah, can't wait. So it's exciting. But um, let's recap our last week in Falcon sports. Um, since we were talking baseball, you know they traveled south, so they had a successful weekend. Yeah, they went down to uh, play Surrey Community College in Surrey, North Carolina, and they ended up with three big wins. Yeah. Um, they had a doubleheader on Saturday and, and uh, a single game on Sunday. And the amount of runs that they put up was yeah. just impressive yeah I mean especially just, like we've, we've talked before about really not seeing live pitching and them just you know getting only, only having four games under their belt right so now you look at it and they had picked up three wins yep seven and two and they have eight home runs yeah I mean that's that's pretty remarkable to be honest with you yep. and not to mention all the other you know extra base hits that I don't exactly have the stats on right but you're seeing doubles 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 yeah they're raking and, you know they're they're doing a good I mean, job they they're, they're matching baseball <laughs> yep they're good I think what's even more impressive and we'll talk to um, Kyle and we're going to probably ask him about that is that early wake up call because they did depart um, on 2:30 I believe in the morning they did I mean like so I'm interested to, I'm, I'm interested to see you know I'm interested to see how how that worked out you know for the guys well it seems like maybe that should be their Wake up call all the time if yeah, they can go out right and if it works, perform let's go like keep that. Working. If, listen, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. You know? Amen. Yeah, but, but kudos to our, our Falcon baseball players, our Falcon team, and Coach McCarry and the guys. And then um, finally had some uh, basketball here at the Union. We did. Yep. Men's basketball. Home opener. Yep. I mean, probably not the results they wanted, but as all we've been saying all year long, we are just thrilled that they were on the floor. But they were competitive. They were in both games. And basically both games, especially you know, the first game on Saturday, you know, could have went either way. Yeah, I mean, I think what they lose, they, they five points. Yep. And, and that could be a five-point swing anywhere uh, along the game. Um, but, you know, it was tough. They, they had just played Jamestown the week before. Right. Um, got the W. Yep. So they're definitely evenly matched. Um, a game, it was a game of runs, yeah. to be honest with you. It you was. Know? Um, and then we just couldn't get over that barrier. I think we got it down to within four in the second half and just couldn't get over yeah. that threshold. And I think we even had a chance at three because I mentioned something to um, Amir, you know, our point guard. And he had an open look deep from three and he passed up, which good point guards do, but he was shooting the ball well. So when I saw him, you know, the next day, I was like, hey, man, you know, I know I'm not Coach Gabriel, but I'm sure he's probably <laughs> thinking the same thing. You're shooting the ball well. You right. know, take that open deep three to tie it up. But, um, you know, they battle. They, they do. They're, they're a resilient group, you know, and, and to come back on Sunday, yeah. you know, just a, a quick 24 hours later against a, a really good quality Niagara basketball team. Right. Yep. Um, and they just, you know, again, a game of runs couldn't close that gap. It was, you know, I don't think the final score is truly indicative of how no. close of a game it was. Yep. Um, and I think I mentioned to you, um, we were at the scorer's table, they had played so much better on Sunday and than they did on Saturday. Yep. That I think if they put that combination of the two together, yep. and they're young, it's early, it's they still are. early, yep. um, <clears throat> and all freshmen, they put that together. They're going to be, you know, it's how you it's how you finish the season, yeah. I think, and, yeah. and then they can be very scary going into the playoffs. I think so. I mean, we hope so. And then our women are still hot, right? So our nationally ranked women's basketball team <laughs> moved up to 19. Fantastic, moved sliding up, up to one 19. spot. Unfortunately, their game against Niagara was canceled on Sunday, but they did get in Jamestown on Saturday, and then uh, ended up pulling off, you know, a very comfortable win at the end. Yeah, what, 35? Yeah. Six girls in double figures. And they got off to a slow start. Slow is an understatement, and I talked to Coach Whittington about that. Okay. So I'm comfortable in saying that. Yeah. Um, the week before, I mean, I think at the end of the first quarter, I think when I was talking with Steve Young, it was 30 to 20. This time at the end of the first quarter, it was 13, 13. It wasn't pretty. Yeah. But they, they shook off the rust. and Right. 35-point win and six girls in double figures is pretty damn impressive. The most impressive thing about Saturday's women's game, and I have to give them props, is Jamestown's coach's green velvet sweatsuit that he wore on the sideline. That thing was smoking hot. It was unbelievable. It reminded me of a Seinfeld episode when George's girlfriend said, I could, you could drape yourself in velvet for all I care, and he does. He was on fire with that thing. Whether they, whatever the result was on the scoreboard, he won the day. And he pulled it off, and not only on fire, 
it's warm in that gym. Yeah. He had to literally be on fire. Uh huh. And plus, with his mask up, I mean, he is up the game. And Coach Whittington always dresses well for you know for her games. She does a great job. But he is just upped what you should wear, you know. And as our boss is in behind the camera, how sweet would be like red velvet sweatsuit, Falcon sweatsuits for all of us. I, for all of us would be great. I think it should be mandated for Coach Whittington for I the next game. At least one time. I think so. Ooh, but man, kudos to him. Out. I would love to get him on the show and just ask him where and, how. and why and yeah. how. Yeah. Yeah. Because it was, it was, it was. I was in a t-shirt. I was in a polo and I was sweating. I looked yeah. across. I think I got hotter. Uh-huh. <laughs> yep. But um, I know we're going to look forward when we close up the show, look forward to the week ahead in, uh, in Falcon Sports. But um, let's take a break. Kyle's ready. Got some baseball. Yeah. We'll talk a little baseball finally. And uh, let's go. Yeah. All right. Everyone stay tuned in the Falcons Corner. We'll be right back. Take flight. You only get so many opportunities to follow your dreams, to make your mark in this world, to lay the foundation for your future. So never stop dreaming, creating, advancing, because there's something bigger in store for all of us. At Lackawanna College, we prepare our students to make their mark, to help change the world we live in, and to become tomorrow's legacies. It's who we are. This is life changing. This is Lackawanna College. Hey, everybody, back on the Falcons Corner, voice of the Falcons, Mike Rickert, my co host, good guy to know, Danny Berg. Welcome in our first baseball guest of the semester. We welcome Kyle Scott to the Falcons Corner. Kyle, what's up? Hello, how are you guys? Good. You're obviously with us for a reason. You guys play this weekend. First of all, we got to start off with that 2 30 a.m. departure time. We would probably take any guy that would wake up at 2 30. You know to go play ball so you know how was the early wake-up call in that ride down south you know this weekend well me and a few teammates we were talking mainly like through the week trying to figure out how we would like figure out our sleep schedule with like going to bed at like if we went to bed at like 11 we'd have to wake up at 2 30 and we wouldn't be tired like we'd be awake for the whole bus ride okay so like like a lot of us decided just to stay up till 2 30 and then we got on the bus and we just passed out on the bus for like almost the whole ride and then we woke up got like we had breakfast and then we got to we played and within like two hours when we got there nice and i think that's one good thing with social distancing on the bus is that you got a whole like row to yourself so you can kind of just <laughs> spread out and make your own bed any way they can so that's 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 one positive and college students at 2 30 in the morning that's really not that hard of a concept i don't think sometimes waking, to stay up, that waking, way. Up, <laughs> waking up at 2 30 is the concept right, so going to bed at 2 30 that's probably right, more. so they're just in their wheelhouse i, I don't blame you. that was a good plan yeah <laughs> So tell us about your weekend, right? So you're one of our arms, right? So, you know, I know coaches gave me updated stats so far this year. You're 2-0 and with seven innings pitched, only giving up three hits. More importantly, 16, you know, 16 strikeouts, and, the, you know, combine that with just, you know, two walks. So how, how's, the, how's the arm feeling? You know, how did you throw this weekend? It's feeling really well, actually. Um, I thought I threw pretty decent. My, my fastball command was really good. I got ahead of almost every, almost every batter I faced with the first strike. And with me pitching, like, getting ahead in the batter, like opens up almost every pitch for pitching and my curveball was was one too so good so really so what is your repertoire like what do you guys so you got fastball you got the curveball what else are you throwing out there fastball curveball change up and i also throw a two seam all right sweet fastball. all right go ahead danny well he's our he's our local baseball he's our resident baseball uh guy here so he's throwing it over to me and i, I don't know what i have but I will tell you this. No. Um, so you're a freshman on campus, right? Um, how has your adjustment been to playing baseball during the pandemic? You know, um, obviously it looks a little bit different uh, the way we do things. I'm not sure about how things worked in Maryland if you're, you had your season wiped out your senior year. Um, just talk a little bit about the opportunity to be able to continue to play right now. No, it's definitely, it's definitely awesome because with my, like in my junior year, I, I broke my right thumb. And in the third game of the year, so I was out my whole junior season. And then my senior season got cut short because of coronavirus. So it, it's really nice to be back on the baseball field and play because I felt like I haven't really played in like a year and a half or two. But other than that, it's been, it's been, uh, it's been definitely a little different than like past years because of, uh, of COVID. And like when we have to lift, we have to wear masks every, like all, all around everywhere and stuff. So it's a little different, but we got to do what we got to do to play. So being out almost a year and a half, you were probably chomping at the bit to get that first start against Guilford Tech yeah. last week, right? Yeah. Awesome. Every, Kyle, every pitcher I know thinks they could hit. 
can you hit? Do you get the chance to get into the cage and rake a little bit? I mean, I haven't. The first week here, I, I was swinging a little bit, and then I kind of just moved moved away from it because, like, I, I didn't really think I would hit because we have a bunch of really good hitters on our team. But, right. But you but still, you still, you like, you still hold that hope. It's like, all right, you know, you know, maybe I can squeeze in a bat out of Coach oh, yeah. McCary, make a deal. It's like, hey, if I go, you know, seven scoreless, you got to throw me in that bat here or there. That's, uh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. And then if you yeah. were a if you were a position player guy, you know, where were you playing? Because like, I know, like I said, every pitcher I know can play any position on the field, so they think, you know. Yeah, so um, besides you, you know, going I played, up there and, I played shortstop. I played third base. I could play first base too, pretty much all infield. Good. And I'm a big Mets fan, so everyone that knows the Mets and Jake Degrom knows that he started. He played, you know, he was a college shortstop, so you know those college those shortstops could, uh, you know, convert over to the to the mound and you know, Definitely. bury guys, you know, and he could and he could hit a little bit though too. So yeah. you know, those pitchers are probably the most athletic kids on the team. Yeah. Uh, some of them. Yeah. You Ooh. say that to the pitchers. Don't let we won't let any of the other position we'll, players yeah. or you know and stuff hear that too. So, <laughs> what are you looking forward to the you know the rest of the season? You know, as a personal goal for yourself and overall as a team. Well, for a personal goal for myself, since because I'm a freshman and I'm a starting pitcher, so I want to as a freshman like in all of junior college, I want to lead in uh, the lowest ERA and okay. have the top strikeouts in the country, pretty much. And as a team. Like we, I feel like we are a very solid team. We have, we have very, like we are really good with depth, depth in uh, pitching, and we have a bunch of hitters that can hit. And we have fifty some games that, to play still, and we're all excited. And I think we can, we can go to Oklahoma this year. One last thing, I know it's always like, especially when I play college baseball. I've been around baseball a long time. You know, getting a chance to go down south where it's obviously warmer, and you get outside, and then having to come back, you know, and practice inside how much forward are you looking through the forecast i don't know if you've seen the extended forecast but i have officially earlier named it officially you know shorts weather you know so <laughs> are you guys are itching to get outside you know at least you, you know pitchers get out somewhere and you know throw the ball yeah today today uh we're the outfield of the the field okay. isn't isn't terrible so we're about to go and do some long toss and probably play catch with a football a little bit to get our arms loose. And Good. Stuff. That, that, to me, that was always the best part of playing college baseball is when you first finally get to go out and practice on your home field yeah. and then hopefully get a you know, home game. You know, yes. So hopefully that forecast stays the way it is and we're in the 60s. And that snow better stay away. Yeah, and exactly <laughs> like that you know, and stuff. So, but Kyle, thanks for joining us. Best of luck the rest of the way. And uh, we'll be keeping track on Falcon baseball. All right. All right, we'll be back in the Falcons corner. Take flight. Hey everybody, back on the Falcons Corner. Hopefully Kyle, great interview. Seems like a great, smart kid, you know, and hopefully he keeps dealing the rest of the year. Yeah, I think he will. He has got the right mindset and talk about a repertoire. Yeah. I mean, you know, I mean, he's a freshman and he's confident and comfortable yeah. having four in the chamber. Yeah. That's awesome. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing no. wrong with that. And we always like the thought of, you know, a former shortstop, especially us being Met fans and a Oof. big Jake DeGrom fan, former shortstop, you know, transitioning to the mound and dealing. Yeah, yeah, it's funny you mentioned like the whole batting thing, and all I could think of is him not getting a chance like Roger Dorn in Major League when they ask him to pinch it, and he's like, uh -uh, lean into one. Yeah, uh -uh. Uh -huh. I'm just always thinking about that pitcher who wants to get out there. Yeah. I could see him being the next Dorn. <laughs> exactly. But um, let's look ahead real fast to what we got, you know, coming up. So our men are home this week, right? So we got Wednesday, Thursday home yeah, games. Men's basketball's home um, against Garrett uh, on Wednesday at five. They're home against Union County College on Thursday at six. Okay. Friday we have a um, wrestling tri-match with, uh, with Niagara and Garrett College. Uh, like we keep saying these schools that you've never heard of, they're our new right. best friends. Um, Saturday, the, uh, actually I'm, I go back to Thursday, the women's basketball team is on the road at Union. Right, which is, which always, is, a, fierce, which is always a monster oh, game for them. Yep. It's their biggest rival at this point. It's one, that's one, listen, we all miss Joya, we love Eric, but like Union Week is when we don't want to have Joya as a boss. So God bless the business <laughs> office this week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. The twice, yes. and they have them twice yep. with the new scheduling. So the women are home uh, hosting the Owls of Union on Saturday at one o'clock in the in the gym upstairs, and then on Sunday we have wrestling again uh, with Jamestown at one o'clock. So we we talked about not having anything going on, and then whew, all at once, yep. and uh, we we can't wait for it. And that's just what we're hosting here. Right. Baseball is going on the road. Yep. Softball gets to open up finally yep. against uh, Suffolk. Yep, they had to postpone last weekend, you know, but um, you know, th they'll get to their opener. So hopefully Sa this weekend they'll be able to. Safety get is out the there. name of the game. Yep. Safety is the name of the game. So you know, hopefully we'll we'll get them 
some nice weather this weekend. It's supposed to be warm Friday, Saturday. Maybe yep. they can open up with Suffolk uh, and start posting some W's. I mean, they're, they have a, a lot of girls, yep. a lot of depth. Yep. Here's a big question for you. Um, Thursday night homes, men's games, you have a big replacement. You have big shoes to fill somehow. I'm not going to be able to do it because the voice of the Falcons will not be able to public address the game. I know. So, you know, we want to make sure that you are going to be okay the next couple of days trying to find someone to, to – like, I could record something if you want. It's just, up to I you. I can just keep hitting. Yeah, that's true, too. We could try that. And I could just tap that while I'm on the, that's on the all. scoring console. Yeah. Why not? But the reason why he won't be here is because his son had a monster game last night in their district semifinal. Had 29 points for the Vikings. He did. Awesome. He did. He had. It was a good way they were able to play a district game on their home floor, so it was a good way to end his uh, – his home career, you know, but um, super proud of him. I know we talk about him on the show, I bust his chops a yeah. lot, but super proud of him. Over 1,300 career points. He's one shy of 200 career threes, you know, so hopefully, you one know, shy. they could. Were you yelling at him he didn't shoot enough Listen, yesterday he had, then? He had, well, he only took five threes. He made three, and they were all in the first half. He didn't take a three in the second half, and I wish he would just shoot a little bit more, you know. I, I think, and God bless him, he is a pass-first guy, but um, – you know, with the 1,300-plus career points, I don't think there's been one game in his four-year career where he took 20 or more shots. Right. You know, so, you know. It's impressive. But, again, I mean, it's, it's a good reason to not be here, yeah. to, to be yeah. able to so go I, see I'm, them compete I'm, in their district championship game on, on Thursday yep. night. Like I said, unfortunately, this year only one representative out of the district goes to say, so they need yeah. to win to continue their season. But if not, it's baseball season starts Friday then. Yeah. You know, you win right. Thursday, you got basketball on Friday. If you lose Thursday night, you got bas- baseball on Friday. You know, so multi-sport we'll, so athlete, we'll, you so can't we'll, beat it. So we'll, we'll keep it, we'll keep it rolling for him and stuff too. So, but um, but thanks for mentioning that. You know, oh, super proud of him. I, you know, so was I. Opened up the paper this morning and I was like, oh, damn. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, super proud of him. So it was, it was a great job by him and his teammates. So looking forward to getting down yeah. to Mohegan Sun Arena and watch him in the district. And they could, they're going to allow fans, fifteen hundred fans. So you know, it'll be nice for the you yeah. know for the kids to play in front of some people for a change and stuff too. So, but um. Best of luck to our Falcon athletes this week. A lot of stuff going on. Best of luck to all of us covering Falcons athletics this week also. But uh, make sure you tune in to LC Fan Network for all of our live events here at the Student Union. And for updates, LC Fan Network, LockawanaFalcons.com, the website. All that stuff. Don't forget, eSports still raging hot. Catch them on Twitch. Sounds good. We're good. All right. Best of luck this week. Thanks. You too. Fill in these shoes. Best of luck. I don't know how we're going to do it. We'll see everyone next week on the Falcons Corner. Take flight.